Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com. Well, this is pricey. It's $28 for this food. The food is one chicken nugget. It's 28 bucks. Where? It is a restaurant in New York. Okay. They put this. It must be one tasty nugget. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> they put some caviar on top of it. Oh, so it's a delicacy yeah. almost. Sure. And I guess they're flying off the <laughs> restaurant shelves or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So a Simon Wool, I'm quoting here, a 30-year-old who has had the nugget on multiple occasions. <laughs> Say that sentence again, please. <laughs> Says the caviar adds a good salinity. Mm. So salinity so is We would key. say salty. Okay. Like, but when you talk of caviar, you can't. You can't. You, can't, that's you don't silly. have mere salt. Salinity. You have salinity-ness. <laughs> we keep seeing these studies about lack of sleep. Like people are sleeping less and less. We're running on coffee mm-hmm. and all that. I, I love coffees, you know. <laughs> but it really is true. Lack of sleep can be a huge spiritual issue. You know what? That's very true. Yeah. I guess we saw that with Elijah, right? Wasn't that the one? Where we oh, was totally. Like, yeah. Take a nap. Here's some food. Take a nap. Yeah. And S- Sabbath is there for a reason. Yeah. Like, we need to rest. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't get a good night's sleep, a couple nights in a row, crankier. I mean, your your judgment's clouded. That's very true. Honestly, you're not you're not thinking straight. You're not your best um, at, at all. So anyway, it, it's a it's something we probably shouldn't just laugh at like hey or brag about i'm not getting any sleep like we need you to get some sleep i don't know if i can make a like a spiritual point out of this chicken nugget i'd like to see it if anybody can and i mean this you are the guy well but that someone would say i'm overthinking it well but again it's, that's it's, okay it's a 28 dollar chicken nugget yes that they serve at this restaurant in new york yes one chicken nugget okay. mm-hmm. now my temptation is to get judgy about it, right. but I'm catching myself on this stuff now. Okay. Because that's not my background. I'm Midwestern. Right. I would never spend $28 on a chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. But if somebody wants to, I don't need to get judgy about it. Ah, Honestly. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, it's not, like, I, I've wasted money on stuff. But it's always nice to judge someone doing something that you wouldn't do anyway. Would never do. Right. But, but then it's like, but I've wasted money on stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe, you know, I've probably gone to Six Flags. <laughs> Just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to cut people more slack. Okay. Right, and maybe that's maybe fair. somebody wants to do that. That's their big thing, and then they're also wildly generous. Yeah. Okay. Cut people so, slack. Right. This okay, isn't just bad. Trying to cut people slack. <laughs> you know, one of the awesome things about life with Jesus is living with more confidence. Mm. And it even says that, like in Hebrews, God, God told us, "Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you." So we say with confidence. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Mm. And you really do live with more confidence. And confidence, think about the word itself. It means with faith. Oh, wow. Like fidelity. It's from the same root word. And con means with. Like, mm. it, it, <laughs> of course, you live with more confidence. It's not all on me. It's not all about me. He is my helper, and he promised me he would never leave me. And I can take that to the bank. Here's a headline about bananas, if you like bananas. So that, it says, banana addicts are freaking out after Trader Joe's announced they're raising the price of a single banana for the first time in over two decades. I didn't know we had banana addicts. Did you? No, and I didn't okay. know anybody was freaking out. Like, I don't think... <laughs> this might be a slight exaggeration right. being like, taken like by just, the journalism here. Right. Yeah. Just to note to journalists, there's enough actual freaking out. <laughs> We don't need a banana epidemic. (laughs) You could say we're going bananas. You could do one of those fun (laughs) things that you guys like so much, but... Not this. We're not freaking out. (laughs) Okay, here's something that's so common to us. We don't even think about it very often, but it's real brokenness. And that is being really concerned that other people give us credit for being a good person Mm. or a talented person. Mm -hmm. Like they should say, they're not not pointing it out. yeah. We're all bent that direction. We all can chafe for attention and significance and all that. However, it really is a, where a lot of brokenness starts. Yeah. 
And um, the reason I'm talking about this is because I think there's hope on that for all of us. And that is, I think we can ask God for help. I know we can. With that, like, God help me not have to be so needy that I have to be affirmed all the time. Yeah. Because if we can find, you were talking about earlier, if we can find some level of confidence in him, yeah, then we can we can grow up. Yeah. And so that's, look, that's all of us. But that is, is brokenness. That's, yeah. me- that's us being messed up. Yeah, yeah. And we can ask him for help. He's really good about that stuff. Always glad to see April Fool's Day go. If, you're, if your birthday's on April Fool's, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's awesome. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. I'm so glad. I, <laughs> it's just not funny to me. It's not funny. It's not. And I and, and we're both people who like to joke well, I around. I love to laugh yeah. and joke. Yes. But my aunt played a joke. She sent a text to the whole family about something that's seriously not funny even. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just looked at it. And I put my phone down and I went in my mom's room and she's sitting there. And I felt bad because my mom was watching like a church service or something. So Uh she's really in a different frame of mind. And I'm like, hey, did you look at your... (laughs) It caused a lot of havoc, which maybe that's what the uh, the goal was. If something's funny, if a prank is funny, I'm Mm -hmm. not against pranks. Yeah. But do it another day. Yeah. And it's probably funny, right? Maybe, yeah. If she did it today. do something. No, it's still not funny. No, it's still not funny. (laughs) I have a hot take. Here oh, we great. go. It's All a right. it's a post Easter hot take <laughs> about the Bible. Those are the best kind. <laughs> we don't have enough of them. Here I go. All it's right. a hot take. Here we go. Post Easter hot take. Doubting Thomas, disciple Thomas. Yeah. Gets a bad rap in my opinion. Okay, why? Because he's remembered for doubt. Okay, so but everybody else, he wasn't in the room when Jesus was there first. Right. So they saw that. Yes. And then they told him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Right. Well, that's fair. Yeah, that's a good point. Because they're just telling him. Yeah. He's like, I need to see that. Much. They got to see it. Mm-hmm. And then when he did see it, he mm-hmm. believed. Uh, and then Jesus said, blessed are the people who don't haven't seen it and still believe. Yeah. Like th- those of us who weren't in that room, like right. us. That's a great point. Right. I, I just think that's a pretty... If I had a bunch of friends say something has never happened before in history just happened. Yeah. Like, Especially these me, friends. I mean, that's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Just be like that would be a pretty natural reaction. And then he does acknowledge you're God. Like you're you're the Lord. I I mean I get it. Hey, if you didn't know, uh, I'm running for the Senate. Mm-hmm. Um, not this year, because uh, I'm not ready. And, no, and not next. It's time. Good to acknowledge that everyone can't do that. No. So, yeah. So <laughs> by 2038. Is when I'm running for the U.S. Senate. Can I say, for it to be so far out, you still seemed a little stressed. Well, there's a lot of work that goes yes, into it. Yes, there is. <laughs> but I, I do have a platform. Okay, well. Me. Oh, all right. And one of my platform things is I want more eclipses. Uh, because this is pretty exciting. We're all excited about the eclipse that's going to happen. True enough. However, I don't know that that's something you can manufacture or legislate. You're doubting the power <laughs> of the Senate. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. You, you just can't. You cannot control people. I know. And we talk about it on the show all the time. Tempting. Yes. But I've had to tell myself that I almost started timing it because it feels like once every 38 seconds, you can't control people. Yeah. You can't control people. Yeah. You can say truth. You can. Well, and that's even just your understanding of truth. Right. And then you have to be able to move on and let people make their decisions and trust God. And man, 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 man. Well, again, Jesus is our example how to live this way. Yeah. Right? Because he he could (laughs) have. He could could control me, yeah. And he didn't. A lot of guys look to me, younger guys mainly, and they want to know how to be socially adept like I am. And so... They perceive you to be that. Yeah. Interesting. So anyway, I do. Go ahead, Let's go. I do yes. lessons. Like so, we'll we'll do a little role play here with Sherry. Yeah. But we, I act like I don't know who she is. We're at like a, a work gathering or something, like a, a mixer. And you're has, teaching young men how to be socially cool. So okay. in this case, what I'm going to teach you the lesson is to talk about pop culture with people, mm. even if you don't like it. Cause I don't. Okay. But um, I, I'll here. I'll show you. Okay. Great. And then. We're at like a thing. There's yes. a table up front. It has yes. like a uh, baby okay. carrots on it. We have it. the picture. We got it. Coleslaw. Okay. All right. So <laughs> you, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk to me, but I don't know who you are, but yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Hello, my name is Sherry. Well, do you remember when they were like talking about Ewoks in um, Star Wars? I vaguely recall that, yes. You do? You do uh-huh. remember that? Yeah. I don't think so because they never actually used the word Ewok. They did? Any of the, no. So I don't know what you're what did they remembering. Call that? Apparently you can. See, this is hostile. This is not the way to interact. I actually interacted with you this time. The takeaway, and you young decided man, to be listen, the takeaway hostile. is you can't trust everybody. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about this, the temptation, the desire to control people. Yeah. It's hard. Think of it this way. It's so great. Remember when you were playing tag as kids and you start the game? Remember how you start a game? Uh-huh. Not it. Not it. Not right. it. Not yeah, it, not yeah, it. yeah. And it was like this race to say, I'm not it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was great to not be it. Yes, it was. That was the goal. Mm-hmm. Well, in life, you're not it. Yeah. I'm not it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, not everything depends on me. And I, I, I can talk to God about stuff, about concerns about people, people I love. People I want to see behave a different way, or like, but I'm not it. I can't. Not everything's on me. It's actually wonderful. It's if it, you can have the humility to do it. That's yeah, what I'm struggling well, with. Well, I understand that too. <laughs> but that's, it's good to think that through. Just yeah, like it doesn't all hang on my effort and shoulders. Got a note here about Curious George. <laughs> from I've seen a couple oh. things on social media. People bringing it up. Oh, yeah, your... I, I tell you what. There's one called. I think it's Curious George Goes to the Hospital or something. Okay. That is the worst one. Oh, my goodness. Of all of them. Why? If you, okay. I'm going to, we're going to bring the girl over sometime. Okay. And I'm going to have you read it to her. Okay. And you will see what I mean. She's, she's enthralled. It is meandering. I know she is. It's what the, <laughs> like, why can't we get into corduroy? <laughs> like, like we do Curious George. Right. Like, that's a well, good story. Just let her build a foundation of reading. We'll get there. Let her grow. Let her mature. Timothy listens in Thailand, and he said, Hey, Brant, just listen to your Curious George Objections podcast. It reminded me of when my kids were little and brought back some similar feelings. I remember thinking, I don't need to encourage my toddlers to follow their curiosity into chaos. (laughs) They already figured that out. I used to create picture books for my kids, and your comments reminded me of an idea I never fully developed. Here's the basics. It's another monkey. Okay. Although technically he's not a monkey, but that's not Yeah, sure, yeah. And it's called Apathetic Larry. And he fleshes out apathetic Larry, huh. a monkey who isn't curious. He sits around looking bored all the time, and he will not engage with his friend George, who always wants to get into trouble, cause mayhem, and somet- somehow be dubbed a hero at the end of the caper. Uh-huh. As I reconsider the idea, apathetic sounds a bit depressing. Maybe he could be appropriately interested Larry, a monkey who hasn't given up on life but understands the boundaries of reality. What kid is not going <laughs> to love that? <laughs> <laughs> he made a book cover. Okay. It, it says apathetic Larry does does nothing all day. And it just shows him like he's just sitting. Is he, with his little hands on his knees and his face. It's like, it, uh, whatever. The adventure is does nothing all day. Like, so he wants his kids to learn yeah. from, <laughs> from apathetic Larry. Why? Why even try? I think that's so great. Exactly. He's <laughs> tired of showing his kids. Like, he's right, though. Like, George is somehow a hero. No. Why? Well, what he's... happened in one, one episode? It was so... Ridiculous. He picks up the phone because he doesn't know what he's doing. Because he's curious. Yeah. Somebody left the office building. Right. He's left with a phone and he <laughs> dials something. Well, he dialed the fire department. And so they dispatch these fire <laughs> things and they get there yeah. and realize there's no fire. It was him. Next page, he's in prison. <laughs> well, so there is some level of consequence for his behavior. Well, yeah, but it's a little okay. heavy here. To do. Like, what? Why would he be in prison? And it was like a... There's just one little window at the top, and he escapes out, or sometimes somebody trips and he okay, gets out. The, right. And then, like, and he's a hero in the end, but it's like, what? Well, he had consequence. He triumphed. I but still prison. don't see the problem. <laughs> he went straight to prison. <laughs> I, That's what I told. Remember when my nieces tried to prank call me? <laughs> and I told them it was unlawful, and the police were coming, and they freaked out. Because <laughs> they were trying to disguise their voices. They were. Then I was like, you know this is against the law, and I'm right. calling the police. And the little right. one is the one that broke character first. She said, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. Her older sister's like, shut up. 
<laughs> well, what were they pretending to be? They were remember? pretending to do uh, pizza. Like uh, it's the pizza delivery guy. Yeah. Did you order a pizza? And they and I was like, like I think I this did is not a prank. order a pizza. Yeah, I'm report you to the police. I said that I did order a pizza, and I wanted them to repeat oh, okay. the order back to me. And then they couldn't. And I was like, I believe this is a prank call. <laughs> And I don't know if you know, but there's a heavy fine and jail time for And I am calling the police right after. And the baby couldn't hand. She could not stay in character. Wait, what? Right. And Nia said, shut up, uh. shut up. <laughs> so jail, I think, curious, kind of, Georgia jail. I don't know what kind of piece of place this is. <laughs> But it feels like this is a prank call, and I am call, immediately. I have been letting the authorities know. They should arrive in four minutes. That's what they told me. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then they break character. You can't take it. Oh. And they were in Philly, and so there was always like police <laughs> noises all the time. So they were just. My brother said they were just on edge the whole night. <laughs> Messing with Auntie. Can't call police for coming. <laughs> yep. You're in big, big mm-hmm. trouble. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's brand new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com.